Welcome back to Bronco Review. I'm Sean Patrick. I'm joined by second-year Northern Illinois head coach Jerry Kill, who will lead his Huskies against visiting Western Michigan this Saturday. Coach Kill is a hard-hat, lunch-pail kind of guy who began his head coaching career at Saginaw Valley State, where he compiled five straight winning seasons, the last two of which leading all of NCAA Division II in rushing. In 2001, Coach Kill signed on with Southern Illinois U, where his Salukis won three straight Gateway Conference championships. And in his first year with Northern Illinois, how about a bowl appearance? Done. And earlier this season, his Huskies put up 454 yards of offense as they took down Purdue of the Big Ten. Coach Kill, thanks for joining us today. You bet. Thank you. Let me start by asking, at what point in your life did you know that you wanted to be a football coach? Well, I, I, you know, I don't know. I... I was just hoping that I'd have the opportunity to go to college. I grew up in a town of 2,000 people, and I'm the first person out of my family to graduate. So I think I was just wanting to go to college and do something different. Now, if you hadn't gone into football, what do you think you'd be doing today? Well, you know, I don't know. Probably back working on a farm, probably, you know, to be honest with you, or doing something of that nature. But I was fortunate enough to go to school, and I met uh, – Played for Dennis Franchoni at a small school called Southwestern College in Winfield, Kansas, and he kind of got me into, you know, interested, you know, in the coaching, and uh, I've been there ever since. Was there a moment in your playing days, maybe, where you thought to yourself, you know, I think I want to be, you know, on the other side of this and and be on the sidelines there? Well, I, I certainly knew I, I didn't have the athletic ability to do anything else, but I I I think as you know, I played it. I really enjoyed sports and athletics and. That was, um, you know, my avenue to get away from uh, even going into high school is get away from <laughs> working all the time. So I, I you know, I, I, I certainly enjoyed it. And I think probably about my sophomore or junior year, you know, I said, you know, I wouldn't mind being just a high school coach and, and teach and that kind of thing. And that's kind of when I went that direction and, uh, and thought I'd be coaching high school the rest of my life and things have just fell into place. Now, you talked a bit about your uh, your family and your background there. How much do you think your rural background there sort of uh, uh, goes towards your work ethic, your drive today? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with my, you know, my father and, and of course, my mother. But my dad was a, uh, a very uh, hardworking person. Uh, um, he worked two jobs to, to support his family. And, and uh, you know, I just think I, I got the work ethic. Uh, uh, sometimes you, they say the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. And, and, uh, you know, I think I've got a lot of my father and mother in me. Now, how do you go beyond the game of football and try to instill that work ethic into your players to go, you know, beyond football but to serve them well in life? Well, I, I think that, you know, I, I think that they under – I always tell them all the time that we're ordinary people trying to accomplish extraordinary things. And if you want to accomplish anything extraordinary, you got to work hard. And you can just go through – a lot of people, whether it's in the sports world or just the common world, uh, the ones that are successful, the ones that put the time in and work, and the ones that aren't, they'll make it. And, uh, you know, I just instill that into them and try to give them examples, you know, whether it's a sports figure or a business figure or whoever it may be. Well, let's get down to work ourselves here, getting ready for the big game this weekend. The Broncos coming down to Northern Illinois. Now, the Broncos and Huskies are coming into this game pretty evenly matched in a number of ways. Northern Illinois is third in the MAC in scoring offense. Western's tied for fourth. And in scoring defense, the Broncos and Huskies are tied for third in the conference. Now, with the teams being that close, how big a factor do you see penalties being, playing mistake-free ball? Well, I think any time you play a game like this, and I always say that most teams don't win games, they lose them, and I think it's the team that makes the less mistakes usually comes out on top, and I don't think it would be any different in this game. Do you see this coming down to maybe a handful of big plays? Well, you know, I, I think, you know, in, in a lot, you know, you look at the game of football, and I know that in, in our situation we know that we have to be able to slow Hiller down. You're not going to stop him, but we've got to slow him down, and, and we have to eliminate big plays. We've got to tackle well, and, and uh, we, we've got to score when we get our opportunities. The Huskies lead the MAC in rushing offense with an astounding 188 yards a game. Do you think the success of former Husky Garrett Wolf, now with the Chicago Bears, has helped to attract such talent? Maybe helped NIU build a reputation as a running back school? Well, I, I think that I, I think they're certainly true. You know, with Turner and and uh, Garrett Wolf and the people that they've had come through here before I was here. And uh, when I was at Southern Illinois, we ran the ball well and had a young man named Brandon Jacobs. So, uh, and we had several good running backs there also. So, I, I think that's just kind of been, uh, 
you know, Coach Novak and I have very similar philosophy, and, and I think it's just kind of carried over. Now, Coach, you have a reputation as a fierce competitor on the gridiron, and this Saturday, I know you and your Huskies are going to give their all against the Broncos. But off the field, you're also building a team to take on a common enemy for all of us. Tell me about the Coach Kill Cancer Fund. Well, it's it's a situation where um, my wife and I uh, came up with the idea of traveling back and forth to St. Louis when uh, I was diagnosed with cancer, and I just often wondered how people could afford to uh, and, and certainly in the southern Illinois region, thinking about it is how they could afford if they had cancer to drive back and forth and stay in a motel and do all those kind of things. And I thought, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to have the money to, to be able to do it. I wonder what people that don't have the money do. So I kind of looked into it and, and got with a, an organization there in, in southern Illinois, SIH, and visited with them. And, and we just started a cancer fund to help the people that – financially could not afford to be treated or didn't have insurance or or went through those kind of things in life and, and just tried to reach out and help and and we we're very fortunate it just took off and it's uh it's been a a really really uh fun thing and and uh, i think we've been able to help out a lot of people and it's been very uh um, you know uh, self uh, uh gratifying you know to, to to reach out and be able to help people and lastly the Husky faithful like to boil corn before the games. What is your favorite corn dish? What's my favorite? Oh, I think that, you know, being an old, uh, you know, country boy, I think that, you know, I, I don't think you can beat just corn on the cob, you know, put that thing on butter and a little salt on it and, and uh, set out there on your back porch on a warm, warm, hot day and uh, have, have a little corn on the cob. It's a pretty good, pretty good deal. All right, Coach, you're making me hungry. We're going to have to wrap this up. (laughs) Coach Kill is going to be taking his Huskies against the Broncos this Saturday. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. For Bronco Review, I'm Sean Patrick.